Guten Morgen, moin moin, and welcome to the most beautiful city in Germany, Hamburg. Sorry, Berlina, aber ihr wisst schon Bescheid. I have lived in Germany for over 20 years and I have a pretty good understanding of the Deutsche Sprache. And over the years, I've noticed a growing trend of English words creeping their way into daily use in the German language. Words like computer, anstatt Rechner, happy, anstatt glücklich, fancy, anstatt there is no German word for that. And I'm totally cool with this trend. However, I feel like if you are going to put an English word in a German sentence, you should pronounce it correctly or it just sounds false. So let me help you with these five words that I hear German people use wrong all the time. Starting with Skype. For people who've never learned a language other than English, there's something I should explain to you in advance to make it a little bit easier to understand at least why Germans tend to pronounce some things wrong. In the German alphabet, the vowel sounds never change. So when you see an A in a word, it always sounds like ah. When you see an O, it always sounds like O. Oh. When you see a U, it always sounds like U. No matter what comes before or after it. And there is no silent E in German. In fact, is there a silent E in any other language so I can understand why it's confusing for Germans to pronounce it correctly. An E in German is always pronounced like A, like in Ea or Exclusive or Schneeule. So when Germans see the word Skype, their first reaction is to pronounce it Skype. But that's false. Die Firma heißt Skype. One syllable. Call it Skype. I recently had an argument with somebody very close to me whose name I'm not gonna mention, but it rhymes with Parkus. And he was trying to tell me that it's okay to say Skype in Germany because we're in Germany and that's how it's written. To which I said, Ach wirklich? Und nennst du es auch ein Ipahone? So ist es geschrieben, so musste man es auch sagen. Wir sind in Deutschland. Nobody calls it an Ipahone, and that's why I feel like nobody should call it Skype. And I mean, there is no German word for Skype because that's the name of the company. So just call it Skype or use Zoom. Here's another case of the German alphabet being pronounced the same no matter the way the word is spelled, and that is with V and W. In German, a V is always pronounced W, and the W is always pronounced V. v, 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 v. It's really confusing when you're just starting to learn German. And you guys are gonna laugh when you hear how many times I've heard German people order a wedgie burger. Wedgie burger. Aber das ist nicht richtig, deutsche Freunde. Und ich verspreche euch, ein wedgie burger ist wirklich nichts, was man bestellen möchte. Es sei man steht auf sowas. Ein wedgie ist wie wir es nennen, wenn du jemand die Unterwäsche hinten hochziehst, um die zu ärgern. Das ist ein Wedgie. Was du meinst ist Wedgie. And please, if you can say was and you can say wieso, then you can also say Wedgie. V -v Wedgie. And if you can't say it, that's fine too. Then just order a Gemüse Burger. Es klingt einfach besser. another word that Germans pronounce incorrectly and I really don't have an explanation for it because it has nothing to do with the alphabet or the way it's spelled. I don't understand why Germans call it pay Pol. There is no O in that word. Where's the Pol coming from? Pol heißt Stange, the pole dancing. This is a Pol. This is a Pol. Das sind auch alle Pols. Pal means Kumpel, so it's like your Zahlungskumpel. He helps you pay. He's not a pole. And I mean, I've been to a few pole dancing bars here in Hamburg, and we paid the women and men who danced on the pole, but we did not pay them with PayPal. Maybe that's the way of the future, who knows? This is the only one on the list where it's not about the pronunciation, it's about how it's used in a sentence. And it's a little bit different for American English and British English. If you say flat to an American, they're gonna think of something flach, because flat in American English means flach. It's rarely used as a noun, like it is in British English, where it means Wohnung, vier Wände, dort wo du wohnst. That is a flat. And this is what confuses me. I don't know how this happened, but when Germans are talking about their telephone contract, they say they have a flat, like an internet flat. But what they mean is flat rate, which means auf Deutsch, die Kosten bleiben flach. Why is the rate missing in Germany? Where did it go? Wenn du sagst, du hast ein Internet flat, das heißt wortwörtlich, dass du im Internet 
eine Wohnung hast. And I love the movie Tron, but trust me, you cannot live in the internet. You can look at flats using your flat rate for the internet, but it is not an internet flat. The pay system you have for your telephone contract is a flat rate. Versteht ihr, was ich meine? Okay, moving on to the most embarrassing word, and that is sour cream. Deutsche Freunde, wenn ihr Quark nicht sagen wollt, dann müsst ihr das mit Sour Cream besser hinkriegen. Weil das, was ihr bestellt, klingt widerlich. My English speaking friends out there are gonna laugh, but many German people pronounce it Sour Cream. Sour Cream. Friends, this, das, this is a sewer. Das, was da unten ist, willst du nicht auf deinen Kartoffel haben. Und schon gar nicht als Cream. And I know you can say sour because there is a German word that sounds just like it. Sauer. Sour cream. Sour cream. Sour cream. So the next time you're ordering a Backkartoffel, don't think about how it's spelled. Think about how it sounds. And I can give you a donkey's bridge. Ich werde immer so sauer, wenn Leute sour cream sagen. Ist einfach, oder? As always, I look forward to your feedback about the videos on this channel. If you like this kind of video, then let me know in the comments below and maybe I'll make more. If you want to learn how to make some tasty cocktails and hear some stories about my life around the world and in musical theater, then check out some of the other videos here on youtube.com slash Guten Morgen. And otherwise, I look forward to seeing you here next week. Bye-bye.